He said, what you know about love? I got what you need Walk up in the store and get what you want You get what Damn, you please Yes, what's your name? What's your son? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel It is my first day of spring classes Which I do have to go in person for Um, I'll get on into all that later about like school and stuff Um, somebody in my family passed away in South Carolina so I have to quickly pack up because when I get off of work we're leaving even school like I have to do a bunch of stuff for school before I leave because I have stuff due like on the 30th 31st first so if I'm gonna be there till Saturday it gives me like two days to do like everything for like four classes Bro, this is the first time I'm getting a syllabus quiz I'm like first of all that's mad childish like you're gonna quiz me on the syllabus the hair salon doesn't open until nine o'clock but I'm gonna go early I'm gonna go like 8 30 I basically want to make sure like I'm the first person in that salon the first thing we gonna do today is basically pack for my trip because like I said right after work we're like leaving so um I'm gonna pack up um a few clothes damn Zeus you're too cold bro the ones that hate me the most look just like me you tell me what that means Make a slick comment and see what that brings I seen it go down, we can reenact things Extreme like DMX sing These boys pussy and they PMS sing People in the city see the movement occurring They say, my God, I wanna be in that scene Damn right you wanna be in this scene She had the video trying to be in this scene Used to fantasize about being in this scene Bluegrass girl, but she got big dreams Can't touch me, I got instincts Locked in the house, but I'm plotting things I brought a gang to the party with me Five white boys, but they not in sync Fuck what y'all think, fuck everything that you say about me My dogs like to play mad in the 2K But one thing they don't do is play about me My homeboy Tyler, he playing South Beach He told me this summer he gon' fix my jumper I told boy Wonder that we might got a thumper I've been trying to pop, now I'm on like show. Hey guys, so pretty much I finished packing All I have to do is find an outfit for the funeral Which I'm stuck between two outfits Because when I did my student um, observation I bought this outfit, so I could wear that But I don't know what kind of shoes I would actually wear with it and then I have another outfit, but I'm like, I really don't want to wear a skirt. And if I do wear a skirt, I'm going to have to go out and buy tight. So I'm stuck between two outfits. And the skirt is like, it's not short, but it kind of is. It's not like, I don't know. My mom said it could pass as appropriate since, you know, I'm slimmer and I guess younger or whatever. But I don't know. So I'm about to try on that. I mean, I already know what the outfit looks like. It's just that the shoes that I'm thinking about wearing with them, I'm like, I don't know if it's appropriate to wear. <laughs> I mean, these are the shoes, and I just feel like the shoes are literally throwing it off because it's like patent and like it gives me like motorcycle vibe, biker girl, whatever you guys want to call it. But it's not that bad. This is literally what it looks like. I think I'm wearing this to the funeral. Let's see what my grandfather says. Who said I'm going to work? Does this look appropriate? Does it look appropriate for the funeral? Oh, oh, I don't know what you're doing. Could be the me going to church. We just going to the funeral. Oh, it's not church. Who said I gotta dress up anyways if it was church? You having that down funeral? You I'm see how our family home. be dressing when we go to churches? Okay. I'm gonna take these clothes off, pack it in the bag, cause this is what I'm gonna wear to the funeral. I'm not gonna wear the skirt. I'll just save that for something else. And then I'm gonna tidy my room up, cause I just have stuff laying around. And then I'm gonna make my bed. And then I'm gonna go and get ready. So, like, just shower and stuff and eat some breakfast and stuff. Um, just start my day, I guess, like, the right way because I really woke up and was like, okay, let me start packing. I'm just sitting here at my desk because I'm trying to just get organized because, like I said, today is the first day of classes of spring semester. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm taking and then I'm going to show you guys, like, how I kind of prepare and do, like, my basically getting ready for the first day. All right, so I'm taking four classes because each class is four credits. So, I'm taking Foundations of Education. 20th century Hispanic heritage and woman of witchcraft. Now, before y'all come for me for the last class, it's a history course. I know everybody in my family like keeps saying, like, why are you taking that? Like, I have an iPad and I use the app Good Notes. That's what I like to use because I'm more of like a digital person. I'm not really like all that extra papers and stuff. It's too much. I don't got time for all that. As you guys can see, um, this is like the main library. So what I do is I make a folder for each separate classes because for example, my Hispanic heritage class, like I was saying my Hispanic heritage class. So basically he said that he's not going to make us buy a textbook. So he included all the readings. But for me, sometimes like 
if the reading says dumb long i have to annotate and all that but like i said i don't like having too much paper i don't like you know all that so what i can do is on the ipad so i created a folder for his class so it's kind of bright i wish there was dark mode then i open it up and then like i already have the syllabus right there if it focus yeah i already have the syllabus there so all i have to do is go into blackboard and then click export and then import it in good notes and then like i could write on it and stuff so that's a good thing oh shit i forgot to say that. I was supposed to send them to my mom and I dead forgot. Let me send it right now before I get in trouble. That's how I pretty much get organized. It's really not much. Like, I know some people have a whole big, big, super big routine. But I'm being realistic with you guys. Like, this is pretty much. myself because like it's cheaper and less damage on my hair but you know once in a while when i come here it's like extra extra sleek because like when i straighten my hair it don't come out like this i have to stop at the beauty supply store because my shower cap i wore to put it going through up on so that yeah, got thrown in the garbage and then yeah um, that's pretty much it and then i want to get me something to eat but i'm like i'm stuck between jamaican food hopefully the line's not dumb long or Chick-fil-A, but I already had Chick-fil-A three times this week. And they don't ever pick up the phone if I call. So I'm going to be mad if I drive. Let me call. I told y'all these monks never pick up. Never pick up. Like, I do know like i would get a beef patty but i feel like that's not enough for me to survive like i need some rice and like chicken and veg like i decided to get tropical smoothie because i'm like i wanted like some jamaican food but the jamaican store is still too early to get jamaican food so by the time i'll go i would be like late to my class by the time they probably start serving like lunch whatever but yeah and i was gonna get the jamaican patty but that is not enough because I'm like, yeah, I have to go to class. Then right after class, I have to go to work. And then right after work, we're leaving. So hopefully I can probably pick up dinner while we're on the road or something. But I need something that's going to hold me over for the day. So I actually started my reading for one of my textbooks because, bro, like literally class started today. I have mad assignments due Monday, Tuesday. The only class I had today was my woman witchcraft. It was really interesting. But we only have four boys in our class. You know, my teacher said, like, it's very feminism. Like, people think, like, witchcraft is, like, connected to women, which makes it, like, a feminist thing or whatever. And, like, it was already mad females in the class. So, and our teacher's a female. So, you know, I wouldn't be biased towards it. But it's kind of, like, expected of boys be like, you know, like, it's not what I was thinking. So, it's cool or whatever. You know, it's definitely a lot that comes with it, like... You know, people beliefs and stuff towards it. Because she was saying, like, you know, some people think, like... She was telling us how literally one of her friends, like, practiced witchcraft. But, like, everybody puts a stereotype on, like, witchcraft is evil, which it's not. I don't know, but... <laughs> I know some people probably watching this, like, yo, be careful, whatever. Like, it's not that. We're not learning none... We're not learning that kind of stuff. It's just literally, like, the history and the women... And then also learning, like, the medieval times, like, all that. So it's not literally, like, we're not going to sit there and learn how to use, like, a board in something. It's literally just learning the history behind it. I ended up getting the four copies of the textbooks. Um, I got all them used but one, which is my witchcraft book. So you girl, I had to spend an extra $15. Because Amazon, um, the used copy was $4. But I wouldn't have got it until, like, February 15th. It was dumb far. And I already have an assignment, like, that's due when we come back for the next class. So I, I have to, like, you know, I had to just pay the extra money or whatever. In my last book, I have a digital copy. So it's on my iPad or whatever. So that was pretty much school. Honestly, I couldn't really record because, you know, my teacher came in. She was mad strict, though. She was kind of like, oh, y'all y'all better not have your phones out. And she was like, I'm not going to even tell you guys if I see you texting your phone. I'm just going to give you straight absence. Like, re relax, Miss Girl. Like, relax. Like, I seen a TikTok. Like, somebody's like, I'm paying. My tuition is paying your bill. So, you need to, like, you know, like, I hate strict teachers like that. Like, what are you so strict for? Like, I couldn't really give you guys, like, two hands on in school because it really was just the first day. And it's not like I was home doing anything. I'm about to be late talking to you guys because it's already 3.54 and I'm supposed to be in at 4. So, I'm trying to hurry up or whatever. But, 
yeah so i'm gonna go into work i'm gonna show you guys a few like little bit it really won't be a lot because i can't break hippo laws because patients did anything i could get in trouble for that so i'll just show you guys a little bit but i can't really talk because there's other people watching me and people you know so i'll show you guys a little bit so you guys can see all right guys so i'm back home it's like almost eight o'clock and i'm about to shower right quick because like i just got up work and you know being around patients and stuff so i'm about to go shower but i'm gonna wrap my hair first because gotta keep the hair straight you know but yeah so so this is not how my night ends like normally but you know like i said we're going on a trip last minute so like i said it was a funeral earlier um so we're going to south carolina because that's where my grandfather's from so we're gonna be there for like a few days like three four days or whatever so really not that long so yeah this is pretty much a busy college day in my life but it wasn't really that busy because it was only like the first day of classes so not busy as far as school school but it was just a super busy day so i don't know if i'm gonna add it on or not so i'm gonna just end the video if i really don't end it then you guys will see the clips after that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video you know that i adore you hit me up if you need someone to talk to when you ever need me you know i come through baddest chick in every place that you walk through